Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Techie Designs The Exterminator. <music> All right, so here he is. I got this thing at Halloween City, uh, and he is incredible. Ever since he first came out, which was actually not too recently, um, I've wanted him. And none of my stores had him in stock until uh, right before Halloween, actually. Uh, so I have had this guy for a little while, and you might have noticed I actually had him in the haunt. Uh, he was in the cave section. Uh, but I've never done an unboxing on him. So today I'm going to unbox him, set him up. And we will do a demo with Fog because he definitely looks a lot cooler with Fog. Um, but yeah, first, let's get straight into the setup. Here we go. All right, let's open this thing up. Uh, so let's unbox this guy. We have a lot of parts in here. He's actually got a fair amount of parts for being just a normal, not really six foot. He's actually pretty tall, but normal life-size prop. Um, so here is the gun. This is his flamethrower. It is huge. Uh, the first time I saw him in store... This is one of the main reasons I wanted him, just because of how detailed and amazing this gun looks. Um, and it's actually, this isn't the only piece here. There's another piece back here, which makes it even bigger. Uh, but this thing is absolutely amazing. Looks like a real flamethrower. Looks awesome. Um, and the fog runs through that to make it look like he's shooting. So, now we have some leg poles right here. There they are. Techie leg poles. Um, they're the squares, but they are coated with kind of a weird um, material. I don't know. It might be the paint. It might be the metal. A lot of techies poles are like that. Here's his head. As you can tell, it's pretty huge, actually. This thing is a fairly large mask right here. And he does have a head in there, too. It's not just a mask. When it lights up on the inside, you can see that. He's kind of got like a skull face. Put that down to the side. Also, his arms were attached to that. Uh, we have some shoes right here. Overall, this thing looks incredibly real when it's set up, um, and I think these really help with that. Um, the clothing comes down and wraps around the shoes really nicely, making the whole thing look really real. So here, this is the piece that actually holds his gun. He's not holding his gun. This piece is. The gun sits on this, um, and that's because his arms are just wire, so they can't really hold much up. But uh, that piece is hidden behind it, so no way of knowing. Here's the base right there, uh, square poles, connections. Um, I do like the square poles a lot. I feel like they're pretty sturdy compared to the circular ones. Here we have his clothing. His clothing's pretty simple but really cool. I love these little pad pieces with the metal. They have some printing on here as well. Um, that's actually 3D too. That's like pretty good. That's cool. But yeah, his outfit, simple but really cool. We have the mechanism here. He does have a side-to-side -side motion as well as the uh, flamethrower part, so pretty cool. Pretty standard techie mechanism right there. They do the uh, metal framing and then the plastic mechanism. And then the adapter, 6 volt, 2 amp DC adapter. That's it. That's all of our parts there. So let's get to the setup. All right, so let's begin with the setup. Now, I don't have his instructions, so this could be a bit out of order, uh, but we'll make it work. Starting with the shoes right there. Uh, now, we're going to bring our poles in, and they look like they connect down here, although it is a double-sided uh, snap lock. We're going to kind of lift the shoes and poke it through there, and then just find the way these are oriented and click it down. All right, there's one, and we have our other one right here. Do the same thing in here. And they actually go in sideways. Snap locks are over here on the side, which is kind of unique. I've not seen that much. But there we go. Shoes don't matter what side they are. These don't matter what side they are because they are the same pull and the same mold for the shoes. Uh, so now let's get this piece on before we attach anything else, uh, the clothing. And this is all one piece, but let's get those pants over it because once we have that hip piece on, I don't think we can do that anymore. So we'll slide this down, making sure it's facing forward. You know uh, that it's facing forward because of the zipper in the back. Want to keep that zipper back here like that. Um, now let's grab our second leg right here, and we'll just slide it over. This is a really good fabric. It really doesn't require any foam because of that, um, and he still looks pretty uh, buffed out really, really nicely. It looks really real when it's done. So 
Now we have our hip piece right here, and this looks like it's gonna go this way. Um, now I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm putting it this way because of the control box being in the back. And his zipper is in the back, so it would make sense for control box to be back here as well. So that's what I'm guessing. Um, it also might not matter, um, but we'll see. So there we go, click down. This is the piece that rotates it. That bolt's getting a bit loose. There we go. Um, but this piece is going to rotate so that uh, he can shoot side to side with the flamethrower. So now we have this piece right here. This is the piece I was describing earlier. This is the piece that holds the gun. Uh, so it's going to sit like this. And his arms are going to come down to the gun. But this is the piece that's really holding it. This is metal, so this won't break. Okay, so now I have the camera moved up so we can continue up. So our next piece is actually the shoulder and head piece right here because the rest of it kind of uh, goes along with this. We have to thread the clothing up into this uh, before anything else. So we're going to snap that in like that. Uh, and he's looking actually pretty straight right now, but once it turns, he's going to look pretty far, uh, I believe, to the right. Now we have to thread these in, like I said. We have to thread these through the clothing uh, because these are going to attach to the gun down below. So we want these all the way through before we bring this up to the shoulders. Uh, and this guy, instead of Velcro on the back, actually has a zipper, which I really like. I think that's pretty cool. So with the clothing now, we just want to find the hole right here so that uh, the gun piece can go through. And then we just do the same thing to this side. We've got to thread this through the arm as well. And then we bring it up like this, bring it around the plastic shoulder frame. And then we can just zip up the back right here, like that. And there we go. That's most of his clothing. Now, this can all be adjusted uh, as we need to later, but uh, looking pretty good right now. So now we have the gun piece. This is going to clip on here with another snap lock. Uh, and this is the part holding it, like I said. And then we will attach those arms to make this look more realistic. Right here, another little snap lock in here. Uh, and a Velcro, actually. Right there. And then the other one is the one that has wires running to it. Because the gun actually lights up, uh, as well as the fogging. So, we'll snap lock this one in. And then we're going to connect this wire right here. Hopefully you can see that down here. Uh, it's a G to G connection. Connect that. And then we'll bring the clothing over and Velcro it down to the hand. So looking really good. One last piece other than the fog tubes. Uh, and that's just the gun extension back here, which makes the gun look better and helps hide the fog tube. There we go. Clicked on now. Um, and he's looking really good. That is all the steps to set him up. Now I'm going to do the wiring and the fog tube off camera. And then we'll go to his demo. Here we go. All right, I have him wired up and connected to the fog. Let's plug him in. All right, so there he was, the Exterminator by Tacky Design. I would totally recommend this guy if you can find him, uh, or if he returns, I'm sure uh, he'll return again. But his overall appearance is incredible. He looks so realistic, uh, and his movement is good. And then the fog is so, so cool. Um, definitely one of the coolest uses of fog I've ever seen in a prop. Um, it just looks so realistic, and this guy would be perfect for any laboratory uh, type theme or just in a graveyard fighting zombies because that is kind of what his purpose is. Um, but yeah, he's super cool. He overall looks incredible. Uh, his quality is pretty good. Um, and yeah, his movement and features are really, really cool. But yeah, there he is, The Exterminator by Techie Design. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.